Hey guys, it's Amy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name's Amy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite rice paper roll recipe. I've stuffed up rice paper rolls a million times in my life but I've finally got the recipe down pat and I've got some really good tips and tricks for how to not break them and how to roll them up in a specific way so that they stick together perfectly so I hope you like it let's get into it the first thing you'll need are rice paper roll wrappers you can buy them from almost any supermarket that has an international food section the next thing you'll need are some raw vegetables of your choice in my rice paper rolls or spring rolls, I personally like spinach, celery, carrots, parsley, bell peppers or capsicum and tomatoes. The next ingredient you'll need is a good source of protein. So it's up to you whether you like turkey or maybe grilled chicken or my personal favourite, teriyaki flavoured tofu. I'm having the tofu and Paul's having the honey smoked turkey. Then you'll need to julienne in your vegetables so cut them into fairly long thin strips like I'm doing here with the cucumber and the bell peppers or capsicum. I really like to use the different coloured peppers because they make the rice paper rolls look so vibrant and colourful once they're all wrapped up and ready to eat. The more coloured vegetables you can use, the more colourful and mouth-watering your rice paper rolls will end up looking. Then slice up the rest of your favourite vegetables and herbs to prepare them for the next step. My favourite type of tofu is a delicious teriyaki tofu that I bought from Trader Joe's earlier today, but you could really use any type of tofu you want, or any other type of meat if you want. So I just thinly sliced up the tofu so I can carefully arrange my ingredients in the rice paper roll wrappers, so I'll do that speedily here for you. And now that the ingredients are all cut up, we're nearly ready to start rolling up the rice paper rolls. So the best tip for preparing rice paper rolls is actually to prepare them over a damp cloth rather than a plate or a chopping board because it won't get stuck to the damp cloth. So remember that one. Another really good tip is to use cool water rather than warm water because then the rice paper rolls won't get too flimsy and stick to themselves. So use cool water. So you need to dip the rice paper roll into the water and make sure that every part of both sides is covered with water. Just like this. And then you can put the rice paper roll on top of the damp cloth and start to fill. But this part's quite important because the way that you arrange the ingredients and the way that you roll is really important. You see where I'm putting them down? It is about a third of the way up the rice paper roll, if you can see the edges of the rice paper roll here. So the way that you arrange them I'll show, the, the, I'll show you the technique for the way that you roll it and how it can be most effective as well. So now I haven't put all of my ingredients in yet but I am going to start rolling it because if you do half of the rice paper roll rolled like this, you can put more ingredients and be careful not to overfill it because that can make it rip and make it hard for it to stick together. I'll put more ingredients in after rolling it halfway, roll a tiny bit more Put the sides up like a burrito and then continue rolling and voila it sticks together. So for the sauce a lot of people just like hoisin sauce by itself but I personally think that it's a little bit too thick so I like to thin it down with some other yummy things. So this is the way that I do it. If you like hoisin sauce by itself though that's totally fine and you can so easily do that. See how thick it is when it's being poured in here. So 
I will put a tiny bit of water in, so just maybe a teaspoon or so. Water in, just to make it a little bit thinner. I also put a little bit of sweet chili sauce in, just a tiny bit, not too much. And a little bit of soy sauce as well before I start to mix it up. So, soy sauce, probably roughly a teaspoon of soy sauce, just like that. Mix it up with a spoon. And then for me, this is the perfect consistency because then after you've taken the first bite of your rice paper roll, it's a little bit easier to pour a tiny bit of this inside the rice paper roll. Time to taste test! By the way, this is Paul. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's take it in the sauce. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 Tastes good. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs>